Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Donna. Today we're on day 10 of the 10 minute, 10 day yoga course. So the last day, and we're going to practice a 10 minute uplifting yoga flow. So you'll need a couple of um, blocks or books. And we'll get started, we're going to come around into stretching out the upper back. So place it in the T-shape. And the first block goes between your shoulders. Turn your shoulder blades, the next block comes underneath your head and just relax your legs out or you can have them in butterfly pose with your soles of your feet together and just your hands anywhere is comfortable to you. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Just really breathe into that upper back. anything that's gone before coming onto the mat just melt away or anything that you need to do as soon as you get off the mat just just concentrate on the breathing in this moment and just thank yourself for coming to the mat for making it here and if you've done all of the 10 days well done. And it's always good to do a little bit of yoga every day than only do only do it once in a while. To get more benefits in the long run if you do it more regularly. And when you're ready, put his forearms onto the mat, press them up. Gently come off, off the block. Take them to the side. Just place your feet into butterfly position. Soles of your feet together. Bring them reasonably close to your body as you can. Breathing in. Breathing out. Elbows come out in front of your legs. And coming up. Remember if you're finding a little bit harder on your lower back, sit up on a cushion or a bolster or, or a blanket. And coming forward, one time more, breathing in, and coming forward, breathing out, and coming up, swing your legs around, have your knees right underneath your hips, stretch your arms out in front of you, and we're going to lower your chest down, head your chest down towards the floor, and we're coming into puppy pose. So rest your forehead on the mat and extend your arms out and just relax. Relax your belly, relax your chest towards the mat. Make sure that your hips are above your knees. And slowly and gently pressing through your hands, coming back up, coming into tabletop position with your hands underneath your shoulders, shoulder width apart, knees underneath your hips, hip width apart, and breathing in, and breathing out into cow. Breathing in, and breathing out. Round your back, and back between your legs, and then coming back into neutral. Take your right leg up, have your sole of your foot facing the ceiling, knee down to the mat, and just going to pulse ten times here. Four, five, six, seven, engage your belly, nine, ten, extend it out, place it behind you and push back through that heel, and then lift it and place it across the left leg and stretch out, pressing back into the heel again and come back and place it down onto the mat. Same on the other side. And pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend, lower it down to the floor of the mat, press back through the heel, lift it up 
and across. Side stretch. And coming back and place it down on the mat. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips up. Coming into downward facing dog. Just pedal it through. And when you're ready, lift your right leg up. Stack your hips. Bend your knee in towards your chest. Stepping forward. Coming to turning that back foot out. Make sure your heel and your instep are in alignment. And we're coming into warrior two. This time have your palms facing down, looking out over that front arm. Shoulders and hips are facing to the side. Really strong through those legs. Really feel it in the thighs. Feel yourself lifting up off your sit bones. And then bringing your arms up. Coming into cactus position. And then what you're going to do from here, you're going to bring your elbows together and round your back. And then open out. And round. And open. And then coming up. Lift your back heel off the mat. Coming into high lunge. And hold it here. Coming up through your middle. If you're finding it a little bit too difficult with your arms up, keep them on your thigh. And then bring your arms down to the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Pedal through. Breathing. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. Stack your hips, knees, knee bent. Come through. Bring your leg forward between your hands. Turn your back foot out. Heel and step in alignment. Coming into warrior two. Pressing right through those feet. Shoulders down. And then bring your arms up. Cactus arms. And then round your back, bringing your elbows together. And open. Stretch your arms up. Lift your back heel. Turning into high lunge. Keep your back knee bent if you find that a little bit easier. Or put your hands onto your knee. Stay here for a moment. Bring your hands down to the mat. Step back. Downward facing dog. Pedal through. And then step up between your hands. Turn to face the front. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Toes facing out to the side. Bend your knees. Knees going out over your toes. And have your hands on your thighs. Bring your right shoulder forward. And coming back to centre, left shoulder forward. Centre and again, forward. Centre, forward. Centre, one last time, forward. Centre, forward. Centre, and then straight your knees. Heel toe back together. And then come to bending your knees. Sitting back. Lift your legs up, coming into boat pose. If you find it a little bit hard to put your arms out here, just keep them behind you. Or if you're finding it even more difficult, just keep your knees bent here. Really engage your navel and sit up nice and tall. Just wherever you feel is a good work for you. And when you're ready, extend them out onto the mat. And we're going to come back into lying on the mat. Gently roll down. Keep your feet flat on the mat. Take your right leg across into reclined pigeon. You can leave it here if you find that's enough of a stretch or you can grab hold of the shin or through to the back of the thigh and just have a good hip stretch here. And when you're ready, release it and then change over other leg, foot across the knee, bring it in. Hold it here. And then place it down. Slowly extend your legs out along the mat. Relax your feet out. We're going to finish in relaxation corpse pose. So you can stay here for as long as you like. And 
deep breath in. Deep breath out. For those of you who haven't got a lot of time, just stretch arms above your head, stretch your feet. Roll over to your right side into fetal position. Use your hands to push yourself back up. And take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. And namaste. Thank you very much for joining me for this course. If you have followed each day as it's gone through, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And let me know if you've got any questions or any comments, put them in the comments box below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my channel, please do. And I'll see you next time on the mat. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.